Okay. All right. All right. Okay, D. The Reverend Larry D. Shannon up at the top of the uh, placard that you see before you. I'm at the bottom. I serve as the virtual deacon for this church. Welcome, welcome. Tonight we have a, an awesome lesson that we want to uh, take a look at. We're going to look at uh, freedom from the world, and we will look at Colossians 2, 16 through 23. And with that, I will turn off my share. And all right, all right, D. Okay, here. And now, uh, possibly I'll tell everybody that Deacon Andy might be might be experiencing some uh, technical difficulties on the way. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay, okay. But you were freezing up. You were freezing up some on us when you were when you were in in your, in your uh, opening. Okay. So so we might tell people that uh, you might be experiencing some technical difficulties uh, throughout the service, and I'll I'll uh, I'll pick up the slack when uh, I see you freezing up. Yes, sir. So so the introduction part is uh, coming up lesson for November the 19th, 2023. The title of the lesson is Freedom from the World. Freedom from the World. Uh, this is a summary is a summary, summary look. Okay. There's the author of Colossians is uh, the Apostle Paul, audience, believers at uh, Colossae, the church perhaps planted by one of Paul's co-workers. That's interesting. It is. One of the guys Cage said his possibly uh, was planted by one of his Co-workers are uh, someone from his uh, church planning team. Uh, anyway, they don't believe that Paul actually planted the church, so that's something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. So the date is between sixty and uh, sixty-four A.D. Now the theme, this is where it's going to get interesting. This is where we come in to Deacon Andy and to the body here because he can work it. The thing Paul writes to demonstrate that Christ is supreme over every human philosophy and tradition. That's very important to lay out. Okay? Message and purpose. Paul writes to counter what is called the Colossian heresy that he considered an affront to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now let's look at this uh, Galatian Harris. It's, it's a, I call it, and I call it, it's my word, I call it false doctrine gumbo. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I, I thought Big Andrew would like that. Yes, sir. False, <laughs> false doctrine gumbo. Mm. All right? Yes, sir. Now here's a, a a number of things that uh, is it that's in this false doctrine gumbo, ceremonialism, uh, the hell strict rules about the kinds of food and drinks that were permissible, uh, about uh, religious festivals, uh, and about circumcision. And then number two, you have what is called. Uh, Anti mm -hmm. did, did I lose you? Can you get me? Yes, sir. I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, anti uh, anti-setism. Okay. Uh, it simply means things like uh, comfort of uh, of uh, of the world. Anything that uh, pertains to the comforts of the world, they anti that. And that's where you see the words do not handle, do not taste, 
do not touch. And then you have worship of angels, uh, devaluated, devaluing person and worth of Christ. This is implied in Paul's emphasis on the supremacy of Christ. So, and then you have the secret knowledge. Uh, the Gnostic boasted of this. Then you have reliance on human wisdom and tradition. These elements fall into two categories. Jewish, Hellenistic. It's likely, therefore, that the false teachings of Galatia was a mixture of some of the Judaizing, 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 let me let me let me let me take my time on this. We've been talking about these. We've been talking about them so much, man. They they yes, they uh, yes, trying sir. to hijack the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and either the uh, Gnostic. So yeah. all of this is the gumbo. This is what Paul. When you when you read Galatians, then what you do, you you won't see these things listed. But you will see Paul addressing them. These are some of the things Paul will be addressing when we go into the lessons. So we'll have a helicopter view of what we what we look at. Now I'm going to turn it over to uh, Deacon Andrew so we can get into the body of the lesson. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Pastor. That's a good, beautiful introduction. Uh, one that will definitely help us an understanding of the scriptures that I'm about to read uh, for the listeners and viewers. Okay. Uh, so can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. What, what we want to do tonight, I wanted to do just, it just a little bit differently. Uh, and, 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 and Pastor has uh, clearly laid out uh, where... Okay. He broke up on it. Stuck on it, Dave. He stuck on it. Okay. We get into the body of the lesson. Uh, Deacon Andy has laid uh, out here for, go ahead, go ahead, Dick. Freedom uh, from the world. Go ahead, Dick. We hear you, D. Okay. I think we okay. can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank. Yeah. Anytime you don't hear me, Pastor, just, just take over because my, it's, it's, it did this all Sunday with us uh, during class. Okay. So I apologize, but we're going to make it through it. We're going to make it through oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so so anyway, I don't want to go back over what, what the pastor had already uh, clearly mentioned, the different types of uh, gumbo uh, of issues. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. They had, that, they had so many different uh, 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 doctrines, false doctrines, and and, and modifications of the word that uh, they were really causing more problems than they were really helping uh, people in the church. So uh, one other uh, 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 study aid that I used, it called the Colossians, it was called a book of connections because the people were connected. And as a result of this connection, Paul became concerned because what they were really doing was 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 placing their their uh, their 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 salvation uh, in jeopardy, and we're going to see. I think he calls this an amputation uh, when you cut off the head. Okay. All right, Dick. Dick is making a point here. I think he just froze again. Um, can you hear me, Pastor? And we hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go, I did, yeah. Did, how far did I get? Yeah, you better go ahead and make your point so we can get in these scriptures. I can help you in the scriptures. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know yeah. where you're coming from before that. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See where it said my connection. Well, see, I just wanted people to understand, based upon what you said, Brother Pastor, that the Colossian church was an embattled church in the first century. Uh, but it also helps us to understand other issues that come can come before the church even today. And so that's that's kind of what my emphasis is on it. So uh, can you hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, we got you. Okay, good. Okay, so so let's get into the scriptures. The scriptures of Colossians 2, 16 to 23. Whenever you just see a number, that's the scripture. So this would be 2, 16, 2, 17, you see? And then when I have uh, 2, 16 and 17, these are comments that are going to be made. So first section that we're going to look at, it talks about uh, that a person is free from legalism. The legalism is the, is the law of Moses and other requirements that the Jew, 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 Judaizers, Judaizers that, that uh, uh, Pastor was mentioning earlier uh, had come and they wanted to uh, have the Gentiles to engage uh, in, in similar uh, ethnic uh, developments of, of, of their own. And, and of course, you can see how this connection could lead to someone being misled. So uh, as we start off by looking at these scriptures, we're going to see the connection and how the connection plays in either to leading people to Christ or, or hopefully not leading people away. So uh, scripture 2.16, let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon or to the Sabbath days. Now, uh, these scriptures that I'm reading are from the New King James uh, Bible. Uh, and, 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 and I'm going to continue to modify my study materials uh, and bring different uh, uh, trustworthy uh, 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 information that I find uh, to the services. So when we look at 2.16 and, and, and verse 17, I'm going to go back over both. And Pastor, you know you jump in, anybody else that may, I see we got uh, uh, a couple of visitors tonight. Welcome, 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 everybody. So, so anyway, look. So first of all, it's scripture 17, 2, 2, 17, it says this, all the things that you think are of substance, uh, the scripture says this, which are of the shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. So let's look at the exposition of this. First of all, Paul was telling the, the Colossian Christians not to let others criticize their. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dave, we lost. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. First, first, uh, verse 16, Colossians 2 16. Uh, okay, I'm now we, we can, yeah. Okay. Let me, okay. Let me, yeah, yeah. Go they ahead. should focus. Go, go ahead. Yeah, they, they should focus on Christ alone. And, and you can see, I got some other commentary on this because that's what a person attempts to, to make uh, 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 certain, certain, certain truths uh, such as salvation uh, 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 sound complex in order to satisfy their need within themselves. But in terms of what's the expectations from the word of the Lord, we know that some of the other things that were being required from the Colossian church, from the Galatian church, as we look at the word, we can see the influence within the context of the time that we're dealing in. Naturally, you would have people attempting to bring what they are used to, to the table. Amen. So, uh, any any comment on that, brother? Yeah, Patino? yeah, yeah. Uh, it's interesting when you see that word. Uh, the ESV used the word. Therefore, let no one pass judgment. The NIV says, uh, "Therefore, do not let anyone judge you." Uh, the New Living Translation says, don't let anyone condemn. Mm -hmm. So it's important we understand, like Deacon was saying, to bring this into the 21st century. The, the problem didn't stay in the first century. It's still happening today. 
false mm -hmm. teaching is happening in 2023. Yes, sir. False teaching. Okay. When I go, when I, I remember when I was uh, young and I would get a hundred dollar bill and I would go to the cash register to purchase something with that $100 bill. And the, the, uh, the uh, uh, clerk, she would always look at me. She would take that hundred that one hundred dollar bill, and she would lift it in the air, and she was trained to. to I guess because I had it, she needs <laughs> to make sure it was real. <laughs> 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 so, she, so she would lift it in the air, right? Yeah. So she was trained. Come on now, she was trained to detect counterfeit. Do the real thing from faith. Okay? Yes, yes sir. Believer, this is what we're doing in our teaching. This is what we're doing for Sunday school. We're teaching the word. Whatever gumbo, whatever meal false teachers serve, if you know God's word, if you know what's real, you won't fall for the faith. That's right. Amen. Because you might not know every false doctrine. Right, right. That's right. It was real. And you know if it's not lining up with the world, don't trust it. I don't care who the truth is. Because we're getting caught up with these with these uh fancy preachers. Yes, sir. Mega, everything mega ain't good. That's right. That's right. Speak. Just because a person got a mega check, don't mean they're teaching sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us get caught up in richness, in, in how much a person has, and who he is. It don't make no difference about who I am. If I'm preaching any other gospel, the Paul said, let me be a curse. Let me go, on, man. Go ahead, Doc. <laughs> so, what I'm saying, don't let nobody judge you if they're not coming from the word. That's right. But that's just right. show you what they're talking about from the word. Hey, look here. You don't listen. You ain't. You're not. Uh, that's what he's saying. You are not obligated. That's right. To obey them. The authority is in God's word. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. The authority is not in the teacher. The authority is not in the teacher. Mm. The, the authority is in the word. And if I or anybody else come to you. And don't line up with the word. Don't even listen to it. You definitely don't have to obey it. So what we have here in 2023, we have these people coming up with this strange, these strange teaching in our church. All of these strange teachings, and they judge you if you don't, if you don't go by what they say. Right. That's right. If you don't do it their way. They're coming up with all these different strange doctrines. And we're bringing it into our churches. We're bringing this false teaching in our churches that don't match up with the with the word. Mm. And that's what we're doing on on our Thursday night. We're giving you the word, okay? So you can look at the word. That's what you go by. And don't let nobody don't let nobody uh, intimidate you, judge you because they come up with some. Look at him, man. I don't care if it's fancy. That main thing, if it's saying, I don't care how well it sounds. But Paul is telling me, I don't care how good they can say it. I don't care how good they can hoop. I don't care how good they can sing. If it's not sound doctrine, leave it alone. We get caught up in emotion. We get caught up in personality. We get caught up in following personalities and, and, instead of following sound doctrine. So Paul telling you, don't get caught up in this stuff. Don't get caught up in all of these, dip, whatever the teaching is. Eating, drinking. Uh, they gave, uh, Paul say they have, they, Paul is telling us that these false teachings have give, they give them criteria for the believers to verify that doesn't line up with the word. Paul said, don't do that. And he's listening. He, 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 he's lining it up. And he's going to talk, verse 17. Uh, he talks about, uh, he talks about all of these religious 
uh, acti- uh, religious Old Testament food and drink. Don't let people uh, condemn you or judge you by food and drink. As for these technical uh, difficulties. Yeah, new moon, yeah. Sabbath, shadows. Can y'all hear me? Can it, can yeah, hear I can. Me? I can. You're going in and out. I don't know about the others. Can y'all hear us? Yes, uh, I can hear. Good. Okay, okay, good, good. It must be just me going in and out, pal. Going in and out. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're talking about these festivals, and uh, and Deacon pointed it out that uh, these are shadows. Yes, yes. These Old Testament observances were were free. They were shadows. Of things to come. That's what verse 17 reads out. Of things to come. They were just shadows of what the reality. The reality, he said in church, re, the reality belongs to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Jesus is what's real. Right. Okay. Everything, all these other observances were pointing to Jesus. So we're not to go back and observe that as New Testament Christians. Man. Verse 18. See, see I see it's, it's it's man, this is this is some hardcore stuff. He yeah. said in verse 18, he says, let no one disqualify you. That's what the ESV says. Let no one disqualify you. Okay. Um, let no one uh NIV says let no one uh let not anyone who delights in false humility uh disqualify you by worshiping the angels. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh Visions, all of this stuff. See, he's pointing out visions, right? Uh, and uh, he says, Paul says here that all of this stuff, all of this stuff comes from a carnal mind. That's right. That word fleshly, deep, you got fleshly mind up there. It comes from a carnal mind. See, a lot of these false teachers in 2023, they're coming up with stuff on their own. God ain't told them nothing, they don't see it in the word. It's fancy talk. Okay? They're coming up with a new gospel, with a new religion, with new wording that ain't got nothing to do with the gospel. And where does it originate from? Paul says it comes from an unspiritual man. That's right. Amen. Come on now. It yes, comes sir. from an unspiritual man. What verse 18 said. You, you, okay. Think about it. We get caught up. See, what he's saying is these people are caught up in personality, falling behind personality, teacher. Sound good, sound entertaining. These teachers are entertaining, and they're coming up with stuff that the church hadn't heard before. And Paul is telling them, if it's not scripture, he's telling them what scripture is. He's telling them what the authority is as an apostle. That's the reason he starts the letter out telling them that he's the he is an apostle. He is the one that God sent to uh, uh, train the church. Not these false teachers. He's telling them that, that it's coming from a fleshly man. An unspiritual man. All right, verse 19. Verse 19. Okay. And it reads, I think Deke says, read on not, not holding to the head from which all the bodies join and bands having nourishment uh, ministered and knit together. Uh, I think Deke pointed out the connection. They've lost. He's telling them these people are not connected to Jesus. Mm-hmm. They are not connected to the head of the church. Therefore, they I'm just summarizing that verse. They don't have any authority. 
because they're not even connected to Jesus. Right. Paul is telling them that. That's right. Paul mm -hmm. is telling them that. Man, Paul is cleaning house with these false teachers. Yes, sir. He's telling them they ain't even connected. They're not even connected to Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Can can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Dick. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's why I wrote this little note here. It said it said the fundamental problem was the false teachers was that they were not connected to Christ, like Pastor right. Shannon has said. And if the head, if the head of the body is not joined, then how in the world can you follow the head when it's not connected? And it says, it, 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 as uh, Shannon clearly said, it says that anyone who teaches about God without being connected to him by faith speaks falsely about him. That's that's the point. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, bro, Pastor. Am, am I breaking up? Or no, you I, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I'll jump okay. in if you break up. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So yeah, yeah. That I mean, th th this is the problem. And, and what I was trying to get people to understand is that a lot of times, uh, uh, people that are charismatic and that are popular, if they don't have self control, then they will use those blessings. And they are blessings. There's nothing wrong with thinking that a person is handsome or. Or, or 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 somebody looks nice and pretty. It's nothing. That's 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 not lusting, and you know that that's being appreciative of, of God's uh, creation, His glory that He made and He's, he's given to us uh, 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 to take care of and 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 and, and give back to Him. So uh, we have to be very very careful with misleading people. That's why in some parts of the lesson, it talks about uh, drinking of alcohol. And it, it talks about the fact that uh, the early Christians, especially, uh, you know, we, we even in the book of John starts, the gospel of John starts off with talking about Mary asking Jesus to make, you know, so, so the problem, the issue, and that's what Paul teaches the church is to, to to use spiritual discernment and and, and 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 spiritual discernment tells us that some may be able to control alcohol and others may not be able to control it okay Dick, i think he froze up on us again and i think he got the verse uh he was dealing with verse what 19 yes yeah, verse 19, and we we was talking about uh, I'm out. Okay. Yeah, you you coming back in. You were out for a while. Uh, you, I was looking at okay. verse 19. Yeah, you, yes, you were out for a while. Okay. All right. Well, go 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 ahead and take it, bro, Pastor, because my, my internet is this kind of I don't want to frustrate the people with what I'm trying okay, to say. Okay, okay. You okay. know, hold on, know hold on. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna try to do is uh uh if I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my. I'm gonna have to fix my. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix my uh, let me let me uh, pull up my scriptures. Pull up my text comparison. Hold on, just a minute. As Deke is. Uh, Can you talk deep? Yes, sir. I can talk. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Till I yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I well, my... yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. So I think uh, the point that we wanted to make in, in Scripture nineteen was the fact that we we you remember the way that we start off dealing with issues is we have to find points that all agree on. In dealing with this issue of the disconnectedness of the false teachers, you have to start off with this point. Who is the head of the church? Jesus Christ is the head of the church. If Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is the head, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. If Jesus yeah. Christ is the head of the church, then if a person uh, 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 claims to be 
uh, uh, have faith or a follower of Jesus and to be teaching other things than what Jesus Christ taught us, then that's a, that's a, it, you, it's, 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 it, it, the conclusion is reached that the person is engaging in things that's outside of the body of Christ. And Man. that's, that's the connectivity. We have to be careful with the things that we do that may negatively affect the spirituality of others. And, 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 and look, look at this. As we move into Scripture 20, it says, because, okay, if the head is cut off, then what happens to the body? Go to Scripture 20. Amen. Amen. Okay, I think he cut off again. Okay. Okay. See, let me uh let, let me use the screen. Let me yes, let me yes. uh you, go ahead, you, you, you were breaking up on it. Let me let me share the screen. Okay. Go ahead. Let I'll me share that. the screen. Okay. Let me share the screen so I can get uh get some scriptures up here. Uh Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we stopped at verse what? 20? Yeah, 20. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, we stopped at 20. Okay. Verse 20. Yes, sir. Okay. These here are. Okay. See, it's nothing like working together. Yeah. Um, now, Paul. Paul goes on to say, I'm just using a uh, text, text comparison. Paul goes on to reason with them. He says, if, 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 and ESV says, if with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the world, why else if you were still alive in the world do you submit to regulation? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, you're not bound by the rules of this world. Because Christ died. All right? And we died in Christ. And we arose in Christ. So he's telling them we're not bound to the forces of this world. You see, they have spiritual forces of this world. He's telling them you're free from that. The false teachers, like Deacon was saying, the false teachers are telling them you are bound. This is what you must do to be saved. You That's must right. do, you must, Jesus is not enough. That's what they're saying. Jesus, Jesus is, not, is enough. not enough. Oh, Jesus. You need some extra. And then they <laughs> give these, this gumbo stuff. They just throw some stuff in. But as believers, like Deacon was saying, when you are in the word. Now, that's another thing. You can be a believer and a babe in Christ and not know the word. And somebody can come along false and lead you astray. They can't lead you out of the kingdom, but they mm -hmm. can mess you up doctrinally. Right. That's right. That's when we that's when we get in the word now. Yes, so sir. We grow in the word. If we don't grow in the word, we'll see a babes in Christ. <clears throat> so Paul is trying to equip them. So that they can see counterfeit, no matter what the counterfeit looks like, they know what really. That's the reason we have the New Testament. See, they didn't have all of the all of the canon. They didn't have all of the New Testament. Paul was still writing the New Testament, but it's finished now. We have the New Testament, so we don't have to go on like Deacon said. No charismatic teacher. No, if it don't line up, and I'm saying over and over. If it doesn't yes, line up with the word, leave it alone. Leave it don't alone. About it. Don't you argue about it. Don't debate about it. It's nothing, to, it's nothing to debate. I don't care what apostle said. I don't care what bishop said. I don't care what title he has. If he doesn't line up with the word, he's teaching false doctrine. That's right. Man. Amen. He's leading us straight. And and our churches are, are we get like David was saying, we get excited because we follow personality. Last week we were looking at the book of Corinthians. One of the things they did 
they got behind somebody said, I, I follow Paulus, I follow, I follow uh Peter, I follow, I follow uh uh, uh Peter, Paul, I follow Christ. You know, they right, had all right. they were following all these different paths. There are some churches ain't moved on from the last half. There are cliques in our churches. There are cliques in the churches because they follow the man instead of the word. Amen. You Amen. got a lot of friction in our churches. They follow this pastor. They follow that pastor instead of following the word. You get in the word. You don't follow the man. You follow the word. As long as he's preaching and teaching the word, then you follow that. Okay? Don't get caught up in personality. And that's what they had done. They were caught up in these personalities, teaching all of this, 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 this stuff sounding real good. You know, man, this is what you need. You know, you need to be able to do this. Oh. Uh, and Paul is telling them, no, you're free from that. Free from it. Free. You are free from that. Yes, sir. And Jesus, when he died, mm. you're no longer bound. On you no more. That's right. Okay, you don't have to submit to the rules of this world. That's what uh, 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 I think the, the NIV says that you don't have to submit to the rules. Look at these words, submit. Mm -hmm. See that word? That's what he's yeah. telling you. Don't have to submit to these rules and regulations. So I use different translations so we can get an idea of what these different words mean. Okay, verse 21. Verse 21, he goes on to talk about uh uh this this idea of of not dealing with the world, not having worldly uh pleasure, do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. You know, you can't enjoy just this regular stuff. You know, that's what he's saying. Do not handle, do not touch, do you can't do this, don't do that. Okay. That's what they're telling them to do. Not what the word is telling them to do. Right. That's right. That's what confuses some believers. That's because we get, today. we get caught up in the stuff that the Bible doesn't tell us to do. Today. To, today, that's right. We are New Testament Christians. Yes, We're sir. not under the old covenant. Hmm. And then verse 22 says, he goes on and says, do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, referring to things that all perish as they are used according to human uh, precepts and teaching. All this stuff will perish. What you eat, what you don't eat, all that stuff perish. You know, all these rules about uh, uh, the dietary laws, you got people still on. Let me tell you something. You got people still right now, they'll tell you, uh, they'll tell you, well, the, the old government say you shouldn't eat shrimp. <laughs> you need shellfish. You need you need about it with the old testament. No, that's old testament. Yes, sir. Now you might not need to eat pork for your health wise. Right, that's right. <laughs> to tell you not to eat <laughs> Look at that. Hey, bro, 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 bro. that. Now you you say what them children now. <laughs> what the doctor told you. That is a good. The scriptures just say the same thing. Yeah, you know, you don't do it, you got to hold it to <laughs> But it's just for it's just just going back in the Old Testament, trying to keep keep these there. That is the script. These are the scriptures right now, telling us we are free from all of that stuff. We have been free from that in Christ. Okay, and that's that's some um, that's human teaching. Human teaching. That's what Paul is telling me. That's human teaching. Uh, the uh, Christian Standard Version calls it human commands and doctrine. Uh, the ESV calls it human precepts and teaching. The NIV says uh, human commands and teaching. Uh, we're free from all these rules and regulations. It was human rules. Stuff made up. The last verse says, and we'll go back, we'll, we'll come in and, and do some uh uh come in once we finish this twenty third verse. He says he okay. says these have indeed an appearance of wisdom and for, now this is this is deep man. Mm -hmm. They have indeed 
the appearance. See, deep, this is what get people. It's when you have a slick talking. That's what I'm talking right? about. Slick, a slick talking. And cute. Jack -ass preacher. And cute. Yeah, jackass preacher. I, see, I can see it. See, a lot of y'all are a jack leg preacher. That's what the old preacher, that's what the old folk used to call them. A yep. jack leg <laughs> preacher. Jack leg. Come on now. Boot leg. Huh? That's his doctrine. What it does, it makes him sound small. Mm -hmm. That's and right. a lot of people get caught up in somebody who can articulate, who can set the real world, and then and then hoop on the end. Man, Reverend Show did preach today, did he? What did Reverend preach about? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he preached about, but he sure <laughs> But he showed he had us preacher. jumping. He had us jumping. Yeah. So don't get caught up anymore. First of all, go to the word. Go to God's word. Let me tell you something. Let me say this right here, teacher. We have a uh, uh, we have a generation of preachers that's so caught up in emotionalism. Mm. Yep. They ain't concerned with true doctrine. They're concerned with how Unless they can make people shout. What 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 okay, pastor do, uh don't in seminary they teach them how to work the crowd? No, 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 no. Uh, not, not seminary I went to. No, not seminary I went to. <laughs> I, but I heard some of them talk no, about where they teach them how false, to work the crowd. Yeah, you got you got look, look, you got false uh institutions, you yes. got false yeah, that's right. You got false institutions. But a lot of this stuff is coming straight off TV. And ain't coming from no seminary. It's coming wow. straight off TV from listening to false preachers on TV. Yes, sir. Because they got these mega churches mm -hmm. and they're teaching this, this, this awful doctrine. And people see that because, they, like Diggins said, they see the success of the preacher. Right. Come on, the success of the deacon, of the uh, uh, teacher yeah. because he is so small. He is a pimp. He's a pimp. <laughs> He's pimping the church. He's pimping the church. <laughs> He's pimping the church. I'm bringing it home. See, deacon tell me, look. He's pimping the folk. <laughs> and he got all this glamour. He, and, and he, 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 he tells them well, you give me $1,000 and you're going to be blessed. Hmm. Give me $1,000. If you give me $1,000, I'll send you a handkerchief. Hmm. What happened to buy? Come on, Doc. Come on, Doc. You send me $1,000, I'll send you. Come on, man. <laughs> Put your hand. Come on, I'm going to pray for you. Put your hand on. You better go to church and pray. <laughs> you gotta go, go to your church and pray. But we get so excited about folks who we think got some, and we right. don't know how we get what he got. And so he teach us all stuff. Say now, if you if you if you do this, you'll get what I have. Mercy. It don't make no difference about what you have. It, it what makes a difference is like like uh, Digging Edward said, it's what the word says. What the word says. That's right. It's not the Bible, it's not scripture. He said, he said, it, it appears that that they got wisdom. Because they're making all this stuff that sound good, looks good, talking real smart, talking real slick, and they nothing but pimp. Number pimp. That's number right. Pimp. How do you think a pimp get a woman to 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 uh speak? He'll go to her. Uh, 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 as he really is, he going to talk sweet to her. Might buy a meal, talking real nice. He appears to have her best interest at home. But he's mm. looking out for number one. <laughs> That's what That's he's right. saying. Look at it. Look at it. The appearance of wisdom. But, but look at. Let me read it. Let me read it. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting. Self-made. 
self-made religion. Okay? And that word there means humility. And 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 see, this is that that in this script in this pat in this scripture is a gumbo mm. of false stuff. Mm. It's a gumbo of false stuff. Okay. It's sacrificing your body, hurting your body. See that 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 in 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 church history there have been uh, monks who have mutilated themselves. Mm -hmm. That's right. Who have castrated themselves. Come mm. on, young boy. Woo! Who have taken whip and told somebody to whip them. Mm. That's what they did. They thought that, that, that by self-mutilating and, and punishing their bodies, that was going to make them some kind of good Christian. And Paul mm. gonna tear that up in just a minute. Yeah, he sure. Look at look at look what look what the ESV said. He said the severity of the body. That's what some people have done. Yeah, they thought that by by mutilating their body, mm. you know, that they were gonna make them holy. So the, the Christian Standard Version said. Uh, severe treatment of the body. The NIV says harsh treatment of the body. So in church history, when I first read this, I said, you mean tell me there were people who used to have people to whip them because they were having lustful thoughts. And they wanted somebody to beat it out of them. Yeah. Now, man. That's right, Doc. Come on, Doc. And, and well, they told them they had to beat it. Yeah. yeah. And Paul is telling them that ain't gonna help. <laughs> that ain't gonna help you. <laughs> Paul says in, in the last part, he said, but they in, in the ESV says, but they are of no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh. Now yes. you have gone through all of that. All of that. And you still and you still love. You still lusted. You know, you don't you don't got some, you don't whip, got whipped, got beat up. And you still have evil desires. None of that stuff takes that away from you. None of that self mutilation, none of that being religious, none of that makes you holy. What makes you holy is being in Christ, following Him, getting in His Word, learning from Him, being guided by the Holy Spirit that's in you. That's what makes you holy. That's what makes you holy. That's what makes you live holy. You are you are holy by position. That's right. What you are already holy. You if you're in Christ, you're already holy in Him. Now you're not holy. You're not holy uh, on your own. Come on, somebody. No sir. No but sir. You holy position wise. And He's telling them all of this mutilating, all of this trying to run behind these false false teachers ain't gonna make you no better off. You, That's right. you have got to follow Christ. You have got to get in his word. Okay? You've yes, got sir. to get in his teaching. And you've got to know what's real and what's not real. You, but I, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take that back. You don't have to know everything that's false. But you right. need to know what's real. Yes. When, yes. That, girl, when that girl had that, had, uh, had that $100 bill, she didn't know what every false $100 bill looked like. But she know what the real thing look like. Yeah. Man. When you, when you know what the real thing is, no matter what false doctrine comes your way, yes, sir. Is, you're not going to be moved by it. You're not going to yeah. be deceived by it. Yeah. Hey, Doc. Doc I, I, yeah, I got to add to that. I, I just want I just want to show you what, what we're doing here. I can't. I want to share my screen and just show you. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I threw it down anyway. Oh, you threw Okay. All right. Yeah, let, Finish first twenty-three. Go ahead. Okay, let me see something. This is this is a, this is a blessing. This is a blessing. So 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 a, a, as we conclude tonight, what 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 what, what pastor has, has has spiritually said is this: when you look at scriptures twenty through twenty-three. 
it's it says this. It says that people should be able to see a difference between the way Christians and non-Christians live. Still, we should not expect, this is key, instant maturity of new Christians. Don't stand in judgment of others, the extent of their faith. Christian growth is a lifelong process. Man. So, 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 so although this is just so, this is just, I got to read. Although we have a, a new nature, we don't automatically have all good thoughts and attitudes, such as the little uh, uh, example we were talking about lusting and getting whooped, beat, and all that to try to get it out of you. But when, 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 when we become uh, new people in Christ, uh, you, you, it, it's just not an automatic process. You have to continue to maintain the connection with him. Amen. It says, but if we keep listening to God, we will be changing all the time. As you look over the question, as we as we conclude or, or get ready to, to move forward uh, to Sunday, it says, over as you look at the past year that's gone by, what changes for the better have you seen in your thoughts and your attitudes? The change may be to change you. All right? Amen. I want to leave it. Amen. You broke up. Okay, D, you froze up on us again. I take it. You froze up on us. He can't, he can't hear us then. You froze up on us. I, I get it. I take it. Oh, uh, D, that's beautiful. Beautiful summer. Beautiful summer. And let me bring it home. Let me bring it home. Let me bring thank, thank you, D. Let me bring it home. Let me Amen. bring it home. Let me bring it home. Amen. Amen. Listen. Listen. You're not gonna have any mature Christians. To make it practical if you don't have no Sunday school rules. How can you mature and you ain't in the word? Right. That's the truth. That's the truth. How can you mature? How many people? How can you break? Let, let me tell you. When I was in school, I thought I thought it was a sign of being uh, a big shot, big timer, by not uh, walking down the hall with no book. Mm -mm. I, I really thought that made me something. You know what I'm saying? It made you look like a hood. I <laughs> didn't have no books in school. Okay. Then I, you know, I'm going to class with my books, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm. Big time, you know. I don't need no books. That's some books. tricks for kids, you know. Tricks for kids. Now I know how silly that is. If you go to school, you need to have books. You need to be in the book. Right. <laughs> I'm a Christian. That's silly. Go to the 11 a.m. and don't think nothing about Sunday school. Go to the 11 a.m. Don't think nothing about meeting on Wednesday night to study the word. How can they be? How can they grow? How can they grow? Just showing up at 11 o'clock one Sunday, and some of them one Sunday out of month. <laughs> I'm sorry. How can you grow? <laughs> that's what Deacon is saying. You cannot grow if you ain't in that book. That's what. That's right. If you're not in that book, that's part of your goal. The Holy Spirit works with the book. See, a lot, a lot of us, here's what we think we grow. We think because we're in Christ, we just automatically take the next step. No, you've got to get in the Word. It's like, it's like food. It's like eating. You start off on milk. You start off on the milk of the Word. And a lot of believers in church at 11 o'clock, they are still on the milk of the word. When the pastor want to talk about different things, they cannot digest it. That's what Paul told the church at Corinth. That's right. They can't digest it. So the church cannot really mature because you got a lot of believers. Head hunting. Heaven. Minister, 
who who are are little people when it comes to the word, but they hold position. And this is what I try to tell people about mature. This is what I try to tell people the difference between uh when he uses that uh, uh illustration of babes in Christ. A babe in Christ is not that's as far as you can take that that uh illustration, that make that point. Because a baby wants to have his way. If he can't get his way, I tell you what mama do. The baby can want something from mama and mama don't give it to him. Baby will grab mama's hand and squeeze mama's hand. You know what mama do? She laugh. Baby start crying and kicking. She laugh. You know why? Because it's just a baby. In the church. When you got mature believers, an immature belief. When you got babes in Christ, they can hurt you. Because they are not leading the babies in the faith. But they are babes here and here in the Lord, and they run like the like, uh, uh, king. They run it their way, and they are part of the church. When that baby grabs you one step, that baby's trying to hurt mom. Mm -hmm. He just can't hurt her. So when you get in the church and you have babes in Christ, they can hurt the church. Mm -hmm. They can physically hurt the church. Man. So it's, it's, it's important yeah. that we, we tell people, look at him, man, you ain't got nothing if you're not growing in the world. You ain't doing nothing but holding the church back. And that's when we conduct these services on Thursdays, uh, on Sunday school, because you got to get in the word. People have to grow in the word, and they won't be they won't be uh, breaking away by every wind of doctrine. Every time something comes along, that sounds good. They won't even have to worry about it because they know the word. They come out here and they get it on on Thursday night, and and uh, we got these recordings for. Them. They can, they can get these recordings and, and go over the word and, and uh, uh, go through all my little feelings and just get to the word. Just, just get to God's word, man. Just get to God's word. That's that's what counts. All that other stuff doesn't make any difference. Don't don't get caught up in, in all of this false teaching that's going on on television. If it doesn't match it with the word, don't argue about it. Leave it alone. Amen. But Amen. one guy said Jesus, Jesus was... Uh, Big time priest said Jesus was out of all this, all kind of stuff. Jesus was out of all the Jesus uh, just saying all kind of bad things, you know. And then you got believers, and his church is packed. It's a mega church. He's leading folk astray across the field yeah. personnel. Leading folk astray. And so we got to stand on God's word. He never told me I was going to get rich in God's word, but he did tell me that he would take care. So I didn't get it. I didn't get in this uh, of become a millionaire. I came. I'm a servant. It's what every minister ought to be. Every yes, day sir. we're serving. Yes, sir. That's we're right. Service of God to the church. Yes, sir. Man. They are not servants to us. We're serving to them. That's right. And our job is it, it doesn't make them out whether they like it or not, tell the truth. It's not a, it's not a, a, a beauty contest, like they were saying. It's not a, a, a popularity contest. It's it's giving people the word. And then it's, uh, it's up to God to take care of from there. Okay, D, I'm, I'm done, man. This was good. This was a good one tonight. This, okay. this was a good one. Can well, you, can you talk to me? Yes, sir. Thank y'all so very much uh, for joining us. Uh, Brother Wiley, it's good to see you Amen. tonight. Amen. Amen. Reverend Eccles, always look, look, look like you got some new glasses on there, brother. He looking real sporty. He looking real sporty. Right, you can tell he's new, huh? Yeah, man. Hey, I look at you. <laughs> hey. Okay, well, we, we're going to, we passed through a wonderful lesson yeah, as usual. You are, Pastor Shannon, you are a blessing. I know that uh, I have limitations and I could not even try this without you. 
And so you are, you the glue, you the glue, you the glue that holds this together. And we appreciate yeah. it. Yes, and I want to acknowledge that. And, and I don't have anybody, you know, that's that's good that, that we can talk about the Lord and learn together. So with that, real Pastor, I'm going to turn it back over to you and let you close us out if you see fit. Uh, God bless everybody. We love all of you. Thank y'all for allowing this to really grow. We can see growth Amen. in the metrics. The metrics are, are, are picking Amen. up. So, uh, hey, D. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, uh, before, you, before you close out, I'd just like to say that uh, these last couple of lessons, Paul is, is really going out telling us it, it's it's about Christ. If if you're not preaching and teaching about Christ, mm -hmm. don't listen to it. Amen. He, Amen. He, he, Amen. Dispel, he yeah, he dispelled all his stuff. He I mean he walking us through it. You know, these lessons are walking us through it now, but he's telling it, it's it's Christ and Christ alone. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. No, nothing else. Yeah. You know, and, and um, it, it it you know it, it's nothing about us, right. uh, 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 anything. It's it's about Christ. Just right. like Pastor Chad said, we are serving for Christ. We, we we are His servant. That's our position. That's our, position. our position is like we are servant for Christ, yeah. and uh, that's it. You know, we, we are and. That's why I said earlier before, stop uh, just getting church members. Yes. You, you need to say, no, you're going to become a disciple. Becoming Amen. a disciple is yes. it, to learn about Christ and his ways and how he conducts. They, to let the Holy Spirit lead you. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. all right, Dick. Uh, yeah. Dick. Let me get it. Just get out of here, man. You're going to start church back up. You know, <laughs> open the door. We're going to start back here. <laughs> you know, you know, open it. Open it back up. But thank God for y'all, man, brothers. Thank God for y'all. Y'all don't know, man. I believe God uh, uh, going to take this and do one thing. I know his word is not going, uh, boy. So, man, keep this up. And we let me tell you, I'm, I'm, and Dick and I, we're going to talk some more because I can. Man, some more things brewing. You know, some other steps we're gonna take. Yes, sir. So, uh, man, I'm excited. Me too. I'm yeah. excited. So let's 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 leave on this, and we'll come back. The Lord willing, uh, next Sunday is good seeing all of y'all. And this is recorded. Now, my wife, she goes on. She'll go on tonight. She'll go on tonight, and she'll listen to it uh, tonight. And and when it's all over. We'll have a number of people doing the same thing. That's right. it'll, oh, yeah. it'll grow. It'll grow as we as we witness. As, as we, we get the word out, yeah. and the more we get the word out, the more power. He said. He said, "You shall be witnesses." That's right. You see, he'll give us power if we're witness. And a lot, the reason the church don't have no power is because they ain't doing no witness. No. That's right. They ain't telling nobody nothing about yeah. what counts. Like yeah. like uh, uh, Doc Echo said, they're not telling. They're not telling anybody about the, the, the main man, the main <laughs> God man. That's right. If you start telling them about him, he's going to do the mother plan. He said, if I be lifted up, I yeah. draw. Mm. He said, he'll draw. Why Dead he man. Do man, we can't even close. We can't even close. <laughs> Y'all got to be excited. This is Let me pray. Let me pray. Father, we thank you for this fellowship, virtual fellowship. Thank you for your word. Thank you for uh, this uh, ministry by way of discipleship, mm. training us up in your word. We ask that you would bless everyone on this call live and bless everyone who's going to listen later. Bless every home that's represented. Spread God, spread this to a multitude of us as we leave this place, but not your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, we'll see you guys, man.